Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it and today we are flying the Barak 2, the new F-16 added for the Israeli Tech 3, it is the Block 40 F-16D, so it is pretty much, um, you know, the same as the Block 50, apart for some minor things, the Raider is a little bit worse, the engine is a little bit worse, and being an F-16D, it has more weight due to the extra pilot, and the Israelis actually added uh, extra ECM, uh, or extra electronics on the fin over there, more flares and stuff, so it is a heavier aircraft, you will have troubles dealing with F-16s, um, with other F-16s in this thing, you know, and the radar is a little bit more limited as well, that you need to worry about that a little bit, but it's not by much, it's like 10 kilometers less, uh, very much similar to the APG-65s, you know, but with uh, 66, sorry, uh, but with all the other modes that it has, uh, TWS, post upper high PRF with post upper velocity, right, so has many, many modes. Uh, it is an aircraft that still has a lot of power, though. As you can see, we can climb very quickly, man. Like, really, really quickly. Which is a very, very good aircraft to do this. And I plan to... In this one, I plan to act at least one battle in an air-to-ground role. Because this is where I think this aircraft will actually shine, you know. Um, in the BVR, yes, it is okay. But it lacks compared to the MiG-29. And in the dogfight, it lacks compared to the other uh, F-16s. You can still get a lot of uh, kills, but still, um, it is, you know, it has a little bit less performance. It's not by much, it's not by much, but it is less nonetheless. <laughs> of course, we do have these targets over here. Mm, let me try to get this one. Fox one. Come on! Uh, where did the missile go? Jesus. Critical speed. I know, man. You know. Don't don't pass out, pilot. You can deal with it. I think it's just better to fly low with something like this. Big twenty nine launch. Twelve o'clock. And you do have the helmet mounted side, as you see. No, it's going to go to the ground. Oh my god. Let's fire a second one. Still got him. Good kill. Fox you. I think that Meg is going down. He did not die. Oh my god. There's a ho Oh no, he died. <laughs> Missile three o'clock high. He even says to me, "Where the missile is?" I gotta try it. Let's see. Go aim nine. Completely miss it. <laughs> so yeah, the the, the aim nine isn't. Um, Unfallible, obviously. We can always use the, the good old Vulcan to actually help with it. And as you see, man, even though, yes, it, it does... It does have its problems with maneuverability compared to other F-16s. Against the SMT, which is a very heavy aircraft, it is pretty alright. And you can always control the amount of weight that you take in an aircraft. Uh, with the fuel, obviously, right? So, I didn't take a lot of fuel. I took like 20 minutes. And I'm already running out of fuel. But the match is already over. So, if you actually use the fuel uh, in a very effective way, it can be a very uh, maneuverable aircraft, actually. It's not a... a I mean, it's pretty good, you know? Let's get to another battle uh, before we go to the ground. So, here we go again, guys. And I gotta be honest. I'm enjoying this aircraft. It is beautiful. It is weird but it is beautiful you know the skin and stuff it's it's very cool so it might be my favorite f-16 just because of that and because of the ground loadout it has a very interesting ground loadout that it can take a lot of bombs like a lot uh so yeah 
Although the F16C also has some very interesting ones. The GBU-15 on this thing is amazing that I will show to you guys probably. <laughs> if I can get the enough points to actually get a properly good match in the F16D. As you know, I'm not the most amazing ground RB pilot ever, right? But yeah, we are getting to the... No, no, come on, come on, lock the... Yes, come on. Be good, be good. Lock in range, Fox 1. And then we crank to the left. As always to the left that I like to do. Um, due to the amount of people that normally go to the left in their own team, right? So it's a little bit easier. The missile has the energy to get that guy, but he might just notch my aerator. I think he's actually kind of doing that. It's an F... Oh, yeah, I lost the lock. Let me just notch a little bit. Yeah, my missile exploded. The missile is a Phoenix, I'm sure. Missile launched. Missile launched from a MiG-29, man. I gotta, I gotta pay attention to those. As you see, BVR is much, much harder, especially against uh, MiG-29s, man. It's, it's complicated, to say the least. And as I was saying before, this does has the, does have the, the HMS, as you see, the helmet, uh, which always helps a little bit. Let's get this MiG-29. There's one behind us. He's dead. As you see, it's an aircraft that compresses a lot. No, that was a bad launch, I think. Yeah, that was a really bad launch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fox you. Come, come on, M9. Yes, good kill. Good kill, M9. Good kill. Good boy. <laughs> um... Oh my god, he's actually firing on me. No, lose the lock. He's going for a friendly. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. That was so close. My god, it's a heavy aircraft, man. Not heavy, actually. I mean, it's really light. We will see, like, what uh, actual heavy aircraft will be like in the future, right? Come on, M9. You can do this. Yes, he's ignoring. And, yes, yeah, splash. My god, man. The AIM-7s are really bad, but... But the... Oh my god, that was so close. I have one flare. AOA, oh my god, this is intense. All the battles are becoming really intense. Chef flare, chef flare, chef flare out. Oh my god, I'm so dead, yeah. That was kind of a bad. Let me... Eject, eject, but hold up. Oh, come on, why the missile didn't drop? But yeah, guys, it's very intense. Uh, these matches are quite intense. Um, but yeah, this aircraft is actually pretty, pretty amazing, man. It really is, it really is pretty amazing. Um, it's just that it, it is a little bit heavy. You gotta watch out for that. Let's try a ground, ground battle now. But I'm enjoying flying ARB with these new RWRs and stuff. It's very, very fun. But I, I really want to try this. So, if you don't know, uh, the D variant has this bomb. And it feels like a normal GBU TV guided stuff. Well, it is not. This is the V2B version that has thermal guidance. So, it is... Quite a different missile. Um, so, yeah, it's TV, but it's not IR guided, IR guided or anything like that. But it is, you know, thermal. So, very, very cool. Not that you need too much of that, because you do have a thermal pod in here. But still. So, I'm going to grab my Mark, uh, my Merkava over here. And I will get to a ground battle to show what this thing is capable in the air to ground roll. Because that's where I think that thing shines. So let's try it out a little bit over here. I don't know if I have time to kill anybody. But... Ooh, it's actually trying to lock somebody there. No, it's not supposed to do that. It's just to... 
Come on. Hold up. There. Uh, come on. And... On the way? Too high speed. Oh yeah, my god. On. How much speed do I need? Why did it bob? <laughs> oh my god. These buttons. they always confusing. Oh my god, Gaijin. Ah, I hate when this happens. Yes, I know. I know. That was really bad. There you go. There you go. On the way. And... Why didn't it explode? Oh my god. I have assault fuse. I, I always forget about the assault fuse. We're fine. We gotta kill. We gotta kill. This is the most dangerous thing ever that I'm doing over here. Now we have the guy, the laser guided stuff, which is also probably my favorite of them all. So we have targets over there. So let's just drop a bomb over there. Kind of like this. Bomb on the way. Aircraft climbing. Where is the target? Over here. Come on, come on, and where's the bomb? Yeah, nice, good. There's another one there. I gotta watch out to not miss these bombs. And there is somebody capturing there. Where is it? There. Oh my god, there's an aircraft over here. It's a mirage. Yeah, there we go. Come on, mirage, get out of here. I need to, t to kill your friends in the ground. I might be able to win this. He doesn't have missiles anymore. Come on. Come on, come on. Yes, good kill. Aim 9M. It's a Mila. A poor Mila, man. He doesn't even have a g <laughs> flares. And I'm actually commemorating that I killed the guy oh my god poor guy man there is an aircraft I think they're flying around I need to get some mounted to they will probably spawn in AA systems we do have a little bit of time to actually try to help our team but it's not much it's not much but it's this is an amazing amazing aircraft to do this let's see if we can find anybody those are all dead. The zoom on these cameras are amazing. There, there's a target over there somewhere. Come on, come on. On the way. It's a little part, I need to kill this guy. Come on, GBU, come on, do your thing, GBU. Bomb is on the way, guys. The bomb is on the way. Yes, another one down. Not gonna have time to actually properly destroy everybody. Come on, no, the match is going to be over. Before the bomb is even there, I think. Come on, come on, just, yes. We're gonna have time. Another one destroyed. <laughs> My god, this thing, man. The F-16D is probably the best cast, or one of the best, right? I mean, we have so many good ones. Killed nine targets together with my tank, you know? But, yeah, we did it what we could. 
but the match was already over. If we had another one of these, we might have won, but we just had one. And I was trying to test the TV guided bomb, but to be honest, man, there's no reason to use it. The GBUs are way more reliable because you can actually change targets mid-flight, right? So, uh, yeah, it's and you cor can correct targets, you know, if they go behind a tree or something. So this would be the main uh, way of using it to in the in the air to ground roll, I think. Uh, amazing aircraft for Cass. It can do very well fights and dogfights and stuff, but you have to keep in mind on the fuel, guys. Uh, take a low fuel load. Don't expect anything like too big on that sense, and you will be fine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, and I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.